And I'm done with that. I basically just ran death up and down the uh, city streets and, kill and killed all the zombies. It was quite funny. I'm sure we'll see that. I'm sure we'll see me do that on camera at some point. And for whatever reason, I still can't figure out why it was... why it gets staticky. It's only sometimes, and it's... doesn't seem to be triggered by anything in particular. Come on. So, final answer, I don't have a clue. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and do a Lies and bi Lies and Biographies, whatever that mission's about. Uh, and then we'll go back and see what she, see what some other, some other superior, and see what she has to say. more if I wouldn't have fired like an idiot. But, you know, my I can't be perfect or even close. Because I'm Rain Kisaragi, dang it. I can't do anything right. You all know you've thought it. Don't lie. Anyway. Yes. Onward! Dun, 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 Come. Oh, I, I just remembered. I haven't done this for death yet. My Lethal Pony, My Lethal Pony, stomping all the zombie heads off. There, now I've done that for every for every horse of the apocalypse. That's got a My Little Pony theme for them. <sighs> that was easy to make a little jingle for all my all my Let's demon go. horses. I'm sure, someone has posted by now that they're they're not demons. They're just misunderstood, and I'll say they're they're demons. They're, they're demonic horses. John? <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, beautiful. That's something pleasant I wanted to see. Oh, zombies found the log. That's... You didn't shoot it in the head. Do you think I like shooting women, you filthy whoremongering wretch? Gracias, señores, que estaba viendo a mi tía, que tal vez ya desculpada. Yeah, yeah, get out of here. Go on. Go on, get it. Eh, andale, gracias. Hello, Mr. Ricketts. Hello, John. I see you're enjoying another vacation in our little resort. Something like that. Well, we got sunshine, sand, and a plague that makes people eat each other. Come to think of it, it must feel just like America to you. <laughs> what is going on? Uh, I thought things were calmer in Mexico. This is calm. What's a little light cannibalism among friends? Excuse me. So, how have you been? Good. Well, apart from my wife and son being tied up and trying to rip my soul clean out of my body, <laughs> and the entire earth turning into hell. Good. Real good. You know, John, I've lived a long life. I've seen this land when it was just wilderness and scrub. I've seen missionaries nailed to crosses by shaman and burn into just the cinders of their misguided devotion. I've seen slaves get set free and return to a bondage even more confusing than the one they left behind. I've seen diseases wipe out entire communities in a weekend. I've seen bad men make their own Valhalla out in the bush with harems of maidens and the hunting of men as a sport. I've seen men struggle with principles and morals and the very meaning of existence. I've killed all that can be killed. That's 
good plan. But I've never, in all my natural-born days, seen anything quite like this. Nor me, sir. Now, if uh, we could only get something that uh, would attract these blighters, we could kill them faster and and maybe return this land to its uh, natural state. Now that state. you mention it, some kind of bait. Exactly. I think I might know how. And more dynamite. I'm running pretty low. Let me see what I can do. Thank you, John. And take care. <laughs> Oh, Landon. A few hours with undead bait and dynamite. Okay. Well, I have both of those. Pretty sure I have both of those. Undead bait, dynamite. Yeah, I got plenty of both. No, I'm not using the holy water. No. Holy water is nice, but it's nothing that you should use on a regular basis. Unless you're fighting big crowds of zombies all the time. We'll make a save to pass the time a little bit. It's like we did back in the main LP. We'll save over this one. I No, uh, this one. Yeah, that one. Because technically slot three now is my uh, interim save. Or is my starting point save. That worked. I didn't think it would for a second. Mr. Ricketts. Hello, sir. How have you been? As you imagine. Good. Did you get the dynamite? Yes. Mm. And the bait. Huh. I wonder what te technical Let's technical see. marvel Landon's going to perform. second. Uh, this uh, calls for a soft touch. Not the brutish hands of a man of war, but the delicate touch of an artist. Some uh, use oils, and some a chisel and a block of marble. For me, sir, it uh, was always either high explosives or the trigger of a fine iron. But it's much the same. Sometimes your humility overwhelms me, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> you and me both, Mr. Marston. Now, if you'd have seen me when I was a young man, if you'd have seen me when I was so fast, you couldn't see me. Well, then you'd know this is humility. The truth is, well, the truth is long dead. Now we got only memories. Memories and a great swath of demonic mutants, of course. <laughs> Have you heard anything? I heard a man in Chicago was writing a biography of me. And can you believe it? An artist in Pittsburgh painted my portrait. Mm. I mean, the demonic hordes. Not your own unending glory. No. Oh. <laughs> that. Nothing too interesting. Someone said that there's some really big problems near Escalera. But I can't concern myself too much with that. This is my home now. This, and this up here. Take care of yourself. I will. I don't think getting savaged by some brainless corpse would do too much justice to your myth. <laughs> yeah, I think you're teasing me, Mr. Marston. But I thank you. And I appreciate your concern, nonetheless. I think Landon, I think Landon can actually handle himself. But now, we have Boom Bait. Which, as he showed us, just the technical marvel that this is. It's, uh, it's a stick of TNT stuffed down the cork. And it explodes a couple seconds later. 
So it's quite nice, actually, if you uh, are interested in using those kind of weapons. I, I tend doing? not to use throwing weapons, as you've noticed in everything that I do. But it's just because, I don't know, it's just, it doesn't strike me as, you know, as good as just shooting something. Skip out a whole bit of that nonsense. Ah. Hold up. Now this is going to be very important. Get ready. Where is it? And that was the Chupacabra. We'll actually go look at it, because, you know, we killed it from so far away. This is the Chupacabra. And by... Ah! No! That was the Chupacabra. <laughs> um... Uh, now that we've killed him, which I'm glad I found him on screen. I'm very glad I found him on screen. Because, yeah, he's he's actually quite a rare spawn, apparently. Um, oh, yeah, let's get rid of the... Uh, the Evans is fine. That's fine. Also, let's get rid of the Buffalo Rifle. I don't need that. A Buffalo Rifle is the strongest weapon in the game. I'm 90% sure, at least. So that's why I went to that to try to, try to take him down. Because... You know, it took, still took two bullets to kill the bastard. Even with, like, the best gun in the game, it still took two bullets to kill him. They have insane amounts of health. But, that's the only Chupacabra in the whole game. We've now killed it, thus ending lots and lots of myths throughout the land. And now that we've killed it, there is one, one last mythical creature that'll show up for us. Now, whether it will actually... Whether it'll actually show up for me or not, I can't really tell you. And let's leave him to his fate. I don't feel like doing that right now. Sorry, dude. Well, we can turn into Mother, Mother, Mother Spirit Blues, and we can change my outfit to the costume that I've earned so, so very, very much. The Legend of the Undead. Hello. Huh. <sighs> Very excited about this one. I've never actually got this uh, this outfit unlocked, but I figure I can show you that. Um, I'll also be looking to get the other one, other oh, hidden God. outfit, but that all depends on if the unicorn wants to spawn for me or not, and that's a big sort of question. Um, I will be doing my best to best to get him to spawn though. Oh yeah, it's over here on this side of everything that I have to go. Change outfit. Legend of the Apocalypse. Down, down. Let's actually go look somewhere that I can see the, the a little better. Right about here. Down, down. Down, down, down. Oh, I think this looks badass, dude. Seriously. This outfit looks so freaking cool. And I have earned it! Yes! Is there anything special? I don't think it does, but let's see. You're. Oh, that's cool. Phosphorus lasts longer. That's cool. I just may have to start using that a little more then. Because it is handy. I'm not going to deny that it's handy. That's pretty cool. It's not spectacular, but it's cool. But John looks badass, so that's the best part. Ay, qué bueno. Señor Marston, how wonderful to see you alive. I think I've cleared Sepulcro. You're a brave servant of righteousness. I've been called many things in my time, but never that. <laughs> Who is that girl, by the way? She? I don't know. She said she was in a holy order in Escalera. I'm sure I keep seeing her. Or someone like her. Maybe. But it is a common enough look. Seemed like a nice girl. Hmm. She told me something interesting. What's that? She blamed this terrible curse on our soon-to-be president, Abraham Reyes. Perhaps you have heard of him. Heard of him? I know him well. I hope that vain, ambitious, and repugnant parasite is no friend of yours. <laughs> no. 
Not exactly. I didn't think he was that <laughs> he bad. He was. And who am I to judge? Forgive me. I have just heard many unpleasant stories and met too many pregnant and abandoned girls. Of course. Well, what has he done? She claimed he had angered an ancient goddess, disturbed a crypt and a temple in her honor. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, as I say it, it sounds like heresy, like the idiotic delusions of a cursed people. But in a land such as this, I have learned to be less dogmatic than maybe I have been instructed. I am sure it is just folly. Perhaps. But maybe it's time I go pay El President a visit anyway. I shall pray for you. Someone certainly needs to. Goodbye, Mother Superior. Vaya con Dios, mijo. Well, so we, get, so, so we get to go see Reyes again. Hopefully, he didn't put a bullet in his head this time. 